everybody, this is just a really quick demonstration to show you guys um, how how much more improved the iPhone 4's Retina display would look like, like in person, zoomed in. Right now, that I just got the, not now. I just got the 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 new Gold Master Seed of the iPhone 4 SDK 4.0 right here. Just change the folder, but it's there. And it includes the new version, pretty much, of what you'll expect once it becomes public. So here it is. This is my application that I developed and I'm still going through the process of accepting to the App Store. And I'll build and run. It'll open it up in the simulator. Now here it is. This is right now the iPhone 4 simulator. You can notice the text. This is zoomed in. If it was zoomed, this is zoomed in uh, uh, for, for the screen, which doesn't fit, but I mean, normally when you, when you would see this, it would be in a smaller display and it would, literally you wouldn't be able to see any of the pixels, which is what's incredible, what Apple is doing. So here, uh, just as a, as a quick like, little um, background info for you guys, this is my application and what it does, it um, displays n the newest Apple news and rumors and uh, stuff like that. Well, anyway. It, if you notice how, how much improved, like for example, the the arrows here, these were custom, um, custom, um, um, uh, custom little things that I got off a website, and if you compare these that are officially from Apple, you can tell the difference. That's why developers have to modify their um, the their little icons to suit the better display. Now, if you guys want, I'll scroll to the home screen. There you go. You can notice how much more improved all of this is. This is iPhone 4 here. I don't know what's AT and T, not iPhone 4, but here is. I have. To, you have to also update kind of the, the look of your of of your icon. Okay, now let me go here. <laughs> Stop the jiggle. I hate how my computer screen isn't so big. But for example, now let's go to the internet. Let's go to the New York Times. Hopefully, it won't fail like in the Apple keynote. <laughs> You can tell. Here it is. Looks normal. Let's zoom in. See how much more improved the screen is. Literally, you know, you know, like that still looks good. So it's incredible. And supposedly, they say that the uh, Apple says that the eye um, can only. Um, that, that, that the eye can only differentiate um, pixels when they are um, at 300 pixels per inch, and this is 326, I believe. So if you notice, here are the iPhone 4. You have HTML5 video right here. HTML5, sorry. And you can believe, you can go like that, kind of um, scroll, but. Well, I tested this on my iPhone. It should be able to do it, but oh well. But technically, there, there, this is it. For example, let me show you the lock screen really quickly. Again, you can tell it, it really impressed me. The thing, and hopefully, the final product, the, the actual thing, once I get it, will actually be like this. <coughs> Again, look, it's incredible. We have let me open up the contacts. Again, yeah, for example, set of contacts. Set Steve Jobs, for example. Steve Jobs Apple. It's sad. For example, they're done. Okay. See, it's super good in action in that iPhone. Well, you get the idea. And it's really improved over the last iPhone. I I feel this is a really really good improvement. So. If you have the old iPhone 3G like I do, I would re highly recommend upgrading. See? So, um, thank you very much for this video and um, hopefully I can post more once a better build of the, um, the simulator comes out. So, thank you for watching. Bye.